Sorry, I had to yell. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Um, I am, just to let you guys know, I am currently um, taking a request for songs to do covers of. So, um, I will, like, you send me them in, like, on comments or on this video or, you know, private messages or something. But, um, like, I will listen to the song and see if I can do it because, you know, I'm very, like, limited. Sorry, my teeth just look weird. Anyways, my... <laughs> I'm very random. If you guys haven't really... Hey, look. Stripey's on my wall. Anyways, sorry. I, like, I've got major ADHD, and it's like... Hold on, it's like... 12.55 in the morning where I'm at, so... I'm kind of... I'm not tired, I'm just, like, hyper, which is, like, not good. Um... Yeah, like I said, I'm currently taking, like, requests for songs to do covers of, and, um, I will, you send them to me in, like, private messages or something, and I will, um, listen to the song, and, um, I'll, like, see if I can, you know, do them. I'm sorry, I'm looking down at, um, you know, I'm watching myself record, and it's kind of weird. And I, like, don't really like looking up at that, the, um, uh, camera thing. Because, you know, this is, I'm on laptop, obviously. So, um, yeah, I'm currently taking requests. And, uh, just, you know message me or something and I will like see if I can do it and um, wow my eyes are blue I don't have blue eyes actually well I mean I do but I mean they're not like blue they're like they're a mixture of like green and gray and blue they're like really weird colors and they like kind of change on my mood but for some reason like on like camera or on well on this camera they look like bright like gray blue which is you know i'm not complaining because it's pretty but um yeah Wow, that looks weird. <laughs> my eye, I'm like, I'm not looking at anything in particular, and my eyes, like, move slightly like I'm reading, and I'm really not. I'm just looking at myself, so. That's weird. Um. Yeah, so just send me, like, messages and stuff, like I said, so. Um, this will be starting. Um. I'll start trying to do them, like, maybe once a week. Like, do a cover maybe once a week. But, you know, I'm not, like, um, this is not my laptop. It's my mom's, and she, you know, most of the time she carries it to work with her. And, she, you know, she's working tonight because she's got a lot of important work stuff that she's done on this. So, I don't get it very often. So, um, yeah, I will try to do them once a week, but I can't guarantee it, so, anyways, um, also, while I'm here, I'm gonna ask you guys an opinion on this, okay, um, Cinema Bazaar, okay, we all know, you know, towards the end of 2009, going to 2010, the band announced, you know, they're not gonna be working together anymore, and I've actually got their letter that they posted online. Um, I actually printed it out and actually, you know, copied it and just uh, on something. So, uh, give me a second so I can read because this, like, this thing doesn't make any sense in parts. So, hold on. Okay. As you can see, this is a scrapbook. 
I'll put it in my scrapbook so I won't lose it. So. Okay, here it is. Okay. Tell me what you guys' opinion is of this, okay? Honestly. Because parts of this is like contradicting itself. So it says, Dear friends, dear friends, as a band, we reached a point in our career where it is time for us to start something new. We decided to discontinue working at Cinema Bazaar from now on and take a break beginning in 2010. Okay, see that part, that sentence right there doesn't make sense to me because they said to discontinue working at Cinema Bazaar. Cinema Bazaar. And you know, from now on. But at the same time, at the end of the sentence, it says, and take a break. Because, you know, a break is not like a permanent thing. So... We want to say thank you for all the faithful and devoted loyalty, and we are grateful for for getting the chances to be able to work with wonderful and talented people. The results are two albums that made us travel the world to see your faces and play our songs. We look back in delight, are happy to be the best German newcomers out of, outside of Germany, and we like to think about all of the concerts we have played. So last year was a huge success for Cinema Bazaar. Some say we should leave off with an appetite. All's well that ends well. We'll meet again. We'll meet again. See? More contradiction in this letter. Like, are they trying to say it's a possibility that they could never work together again? Or, you know, they're hinting or they're trying to, like, hint at it discreetly that they're coming back? I don't know. I hope they do. Because, I mean, Strife does not need to deprive the world any longer of that beautiful voice. That is my thoughts. Okay, so we'll meet again. We'll meet again. Stay true to yourself. Love, Cinema Bazaar. And, of course, if you see, I mean, it's probably very little, so you probably can't really see it. Okay, hold on. The letter is, like, right there. Okay, so it, I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay, there, there it is. That is actually that right there is the actual letter. That's a copy of the letter. And if you can't tell, that is, you know, Strife he wrote that. That's his handwriting, and it's pretty. But yeah, like I said, so my uh, my question to you guys is, um, do you think you know some Mazar is coming back? I honestly don't know. I don't know what to think at this point. Like, there's nothing, like, on Kiro or Strafey's Twitter saying, or similar to our Twitter to even think of, to even, bleh. There's nothing on similar to Twitter, on Strafey's Twitter or Kiro's Twitter saying that they're coming back. So, um, I honestly don't know. Like, I hope so. But if they don't, I hope Strife comes out with a solo album. Because, you know, he's got a beautiful voice. Like, he is extremely talented. So, who knows? I don't know. I mean, as far as, I, like, from what I heard, like, and I know this to be a, it's for a fact, so. But, uh, Romeo and you are in, uh, another band. So, who knows? Maybe, you know... Maybe. Like, there's rumors going around they're supposed to be coming back this year or beginning of next. Um, who knows? I hope they do because I love Simmonsar and I love um, their music and I love their work and the, the feelings and the heart. The feelings in their music, you know, it speaks to people, you know. You can understand what Strife was going through. I'm not saying Strife is the only one who wrote, wrote the lyrics. But, I mean, I think, like, a good portion of them were written by him, so. Anyways, just, like, let me know, you know, your thoughts on it, because, honestly, I don't know. Like, like you know, I read, there's a lot of contradiction in, like, um, that letter. So, hopefully, all that will be cleared up. And hopefully, you know, they do get back together, because I know a lot of people out there adore them. And I know I love them 
not only because they're talented, but because they're representing Germany, and, you know, I'm almost full-blooded German, I've got, like, my father was full-blooded German, so that makes me half German, but I've also got a good chunk of German on my mom's side, too, so I'm pretty much about 60 to 75 percent German, so, um, anyways, let, let me know what you guys think about that, and, uh, I'm taking requests for songs, so just let me know.